Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 142. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about why the load utility with index rebuild option is much slower and how to make it fast. The scripts that I'm using, the data files that I'm using are freely available for download at db2lewacademy.blogspot.in. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash db2lewacademy. You can reach me at db2academy at gmail.com. This slide talks about the problem problem scenario and the solution. The problem scenario is load index rebuild. It's take it's taking much time. It's it's a bit slower. So why I am saying that is the load index rebuild is hiking the data table space disk I/O. So I am talking about see the, when you load use the load utility, you will be obviously using for loading the data. And there are two things that are happening. One is the loading process, and another is the index rebuild process. So in the loading phase you can see that there is a lot of direct writes that will be happened because uh, that's what is ultimately is going to do uh, is going to load the data into the table but it, instead of writing into the table uh, using the buffer pools it's going to bypass the buffer pool and it is going to perform direct writes so we can expect a shoot uh, we can expect a spike in the direct writes in the data table space and index rebuild also will contribute to direct writes in the index table space because obviously after construction of the index object or during the process of the construction of the index object the indexes needs to be persisted into the container so again it is going to perform a lot of direct writes so th those two things are completely understandable those are not the bottlenecks those are not the disk io that i am talking about i am talking about the disk io where the index build process results in a lot of direct reads on the data table space. So this is what I, I see as a bottleneck. Why? Because, um, so obviously the first thing is the index rebuild needs the table data. Uh, so, so see, suppose if you are loading the, the loading 5 GB of data, already the table is having 10 GB, right? The 10 GB in size. So in that case, what you'll do is typically you will think of going for index uh, with incremental option. But uh, see, incremental option is again only for certain things. So suppose if like you are having uh, 10 GB of data and you are loading one or two GB of data, then you can say index mode incremental. It makes more sense, right? Because you just want to incrementally update the index. Whereas if you are already your table is 10 GB and you are loading another 10 GB, so what do you do then? So whether I have to choose incremental or whether I feel like you know sometimes I might feel okay so i'm loading a huge chunk of data so let me reorganize the indexes completely right so you might so it depends on the table size and obviously those decisions as well so uh, i'm not denying that but the thing is you should be conscious about it so that's what i'm saying so when when you are doing when you are opting to use index rebuild on a load um, there is a lot of direct reads that is happening on the data table space for the purpose of index rebuild. <clears throat> like it has to read all the existing table data with the loaded data and it has to completely rebuild the index, right? So already 10 GB is there. I'm loading another 10 GB. So 20 GB of table read has to happen. And this table read is happening in a direct read manner. My question is why it is not using buffered IO for the table read during the index rebuild process. That is what I'm questioning. <clears throat> and that is what is my suggestion as well. And conventional wisdom very clearly tells me like disk IO is slower than buffered IO with prefetching. <coughs> I'm sorry. So that is the thing. So the load can be made faster by overcoming this particular disk IO bottleneck, which is the direct read bottleneck on the data table space. So as usual, I'm going to give some examples to demonstrate that. So in order to demonstrate that, let's go and look at the test case. We have started the instance, we have connected to the database, created the table space index IDX space. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, so I'm going to create a table staff, uh, staff ID, some, some, some structure, okay, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to just going to create that. Okay. Done. And I'm going to create three indexes on them as well. So let me copy that quickly. Okay, so all done, clear. Obviously the table is an empty table. The index is also much like it's an empty index object. There's nothing there. <clears throat> so I'm going to load from 200k.del, which is it is loading 200,000 uh, records into the staff table. And I'm saying non-recoverable load and indexing mode deferred. That is important. So I'm saying indexing mode deferred because that way the index object won't be rebuilt 
or the index creation or the index updation won't happen i mean the index creation is there but it won't update with the table records so the index is will be still invalid indexes only so i'm loading so this is like <coughs> to show that only the data portion of uh, like on the data table space which is user space one i should see a lot of direct writes and pretty much there should be no direct reads and in the index table space there won't be any direct writes as well uh, because i am not rebuilding the index so that is the whole purpose of that okay so before uh, uh, hitting that i'll uh, turn on the monitoring <coughs> so i have turned on the monitoring here so let me show you the the output of this read command it's a snapshot of the table spaces so you can see that this is what i'm saying direct reads in the index table space and uh, direct reads in the user space okay those two things are the important uh, concern for us <coughs> and i'm also do doing the write okay sorry index table space user space you can see there is no direct writes index space there is no direct writes so i'm going to load this so after loading that it com it completed so i should be seeing a lot of direct writes on the user space so you can see that 30000 yeah 30280 direct writes have happened on the user space one and index space one uh, not much of direct writes it won't do anything because we are saying uh, we are saying index mode deferred so it did not touch anything in the index uh, from the index perspective <clears throat> look at the direct reads so in index space there is no direct reads you can see that a very negligible eight direct reads it doesn't matter so that's not a primary concern direct reads happened on the data table space also that's like about 16 i don't think so but but look at the 754 logical reads so when you load the data lot of logical reads are happening here right so okay so it still doesn't matter okay <clears throat> i'm sorry today am, am i <laughs> my voice is my throat is getting dry okay so reset monitor all so i'm just going to reset that so the next thing i'm going to do is load from null device so load from null device insert into the same table so this will do a pure um, rebuild of the indexes so this is it's not touching the data table space it will be touching the index table space you can see that very well now so i'm going to hit that and i have reset the monitor so you can see that oops okay since i am in windows i have to say like load from null like that okay okay now this is correct now this is re rebuilding the index and i have reset monitor so you can see the writes so index table space 20000 writes have happened no writes on the user space data data table space and look at the read direct reads are very less 64 only on the index table space look at that 30000 it's the same number of writes that happened on the data table space the same number of reads are happening during the rebuild phase via direct read it's not using buffer pools <clears throat> this is what i'm saying why it is not using the buffer pools for doing the read activity so so that is the question and um, you can uh, i'm just going to again do reset monitor all okay so i'm going to give another scenario okay so the another scenario is i'm going to load 200000 again and you you know that now already 200000 records are there i'm loading another 200000 so which means like doubling uh, the records and i'm saying index rebuild okay so this is another scenario so let's do that okay so once i do that you should be able to see okay so 200000 records have been loaded and rebuilt so i'll show you the writes this is expected see there is a lot of writes in the index table space because the index is getting rebuilt but look at the user space there is a lot of writes that is happening 30000 writes happened because we have loaded 200000 records acceptable <clears throat> what about the read see so many logical reads are happening so many logical reads are happening very few direct reads are happening on the index table space 
But what about the data table space? Look at that. The data table space 30,000 records, 30,000 direct reads because it is it has to read the existing 200,000 and already loaded 200,000 are there and it is completely constructing the the rebuild of the indexes. So for that purpose, it is uh, doing this read, which is like which is like the size of 200,000 records, right? Whatever this 200,000, I have shown you 30,000 direct read, reads happened during the sorry, 30,000 direct writes happened during the loading of the table, the same amount we are reading. That's what I'm saying uh, during the index rebuild process. So, so this is the thing. This is where I am saying, why should the load utility bypass uh, buffer pool services and do direct reads for reading the table for re rebuilding the index purposes? <clears throat> I'm sorry. So hope that that's the information. So please uh, share your inputs, comments, and let me know. Um, and um, thanks for the support uh, till now. And uh, see you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye bye.